India, going big with small nuclear reactors, what is a Bharat small reactor? In the union budget for the fiscal year 2024-25, India has underscored its commitment to advancing its nuclear energy capabilities by announcing plans to develop and manufacture small modular reactors, SMRs, in collaboration with the private sector. Branded as Bharat small reactors, these SMRs are seen as a pivotal element in India's energy mix, offering a range of advantages, including a smaller footprint, rapid installation, and integration with renewable energy sources. This video, through comprehensive analysis, delves into the technical specifics, chronological developments, and broader implications of these initiatives, highlighting India's strategy to achieve sustainable nuclear power and technological advancements in the energy sector. For those viewers who are interested in more information regarding India's civilian nuclear energy journey, please find links to two videos previously uploaded in this channel via the I icon button as well as within the playlist available at the end of this video. Details for this video has been gathered from news reports of August 2, 2024, July 29, 2024, July 24, 2024 and July 23, 2024. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. Background and Chronology Union Budget 2024-25 Announcement On July 23, 2024, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman presented the Union Budget, emphasizing nuclear energy as one of nine priority areas for the government. This budget signifies a strategic pivot towards incorporating small modular reactors, SMRs, into India's energy portfolio, aiming to achieve an ambitious target of 100 gigawatts of nuclear capacity by 2047. This development marks a significant step in India's journey towards diversifying its energy sources and achieving long-term energy security. Historical Context and Current Status India's nuclear energy sector has historically faced challenges, including high capital costs, technological hurdles, and opposition from environmentalists. As of now, India operates 23 nuclear reactors across eight power plants, with a total installed capacity of 7,380 megawatts. Despite these challenges, the global push towards low-carbon energy solutions has prompted India to focus on SMRs as a viable alternative. The country plans to add 21 more atomic power generating units, with a total installed capacity of 15,700 MW by 2031, signaling a renewed commitment to expanding its nuclear energy footprint. Technical Details of Small Modular Reactors Advantages and Features Small Modular Reactors SMRs, are designed to be smaller and more flexible than traditional nuclear reactors, with a power capacity of up to 300 MW, E, per unit. These reactors can be manufactured in factories and transported to installation sites, significantly reducing construction time and costs. Their compact size allows them to be installed in locations unsuitable for larger plants, offering minimal risk compared to conventional reactors. Key advantages of SMRs include Small footprint, SMRs require less than a tenth of a hectare, making them suitable for areas with limited space. Quick installation, factory-built modules can be rapidly deployed, reducing the risk of time and cost overruns. Local power consumption, power generated by SMRs can be utilized locally at the SMR site, enhancing energy security. Integration with renewable energy, SMRs can be integrated with renewable energy sources, enhancing grid resilience and managing intermittency. Cost efficiency, the cost of electricity generated by SMRs is estimated at around 4 Indian rupees per kilowatt hour, making them a cost-effective option for low-carbon electricity. Technological and Safety Features SMRs promise enhanced safety due to their simplified design, which includes fewer operating parts and advanced safety features. The modular design allows for scalable output by combining multiple units, offering operational flexibility for better load management. These reactors can be transported by trucks or rail, facilitating easy deployment in off-grid or remote areas. Government Initiatives and Policy Changes 
Private Sector Participation To accelerate the adoption and manufacturing of SMRs, the Indian government plans to involve private sector participation by amending the Atomic Energy Act of 1962. This amendment would allow private companies to develop and operate nuclear facilities, fostering increased competition, transparency, and reduced capital expenditure. This approach mirrors global practices, such as the U.S.'s amendment of the Atomic Energy Act in 1954 and the partial privatization of the British nuclear industry in 1996. Radioactive Waste Management Establishing a dedicated radioactive waste management agency is crucial for safeguarding the environment from potential nuclear hazards. This agency would be responsible for preparing and implementing a nuclear waste policy, ensuring the safe and effective management of radioactive materials. This move is essential for addressing environmental concerns and ensuring public confidence in nuclear energy projects. Insurance and Liability the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage CLND, Act of 2010 mandates that technology providers and operators are liable for nuclear damage, with operators required to cover up to 1,500 Indian rupees crore through insurance or other financial means. The government provides refundable bridging loans to meet operators' liabilities, but this financial pool needs to be expanded to include SMR projects, boosting confidence among private sector participants. Additionally, if damages exceed this amount, the government is expected to intervene, although its liability is capped at the rupee equivalent of 300 million special drawing rights, SDRs, or 2,100 to 2,300 Indian rupees crore. Research, Development, and International Collaboration Accelerated Technology Transfer India aims to launch a significant SMR construction program to create jobs through domestic manufacturing and exports. Collaboration with the United States, under specific authorization 10 CFR 810, would expedite industrial operations and technology transfer, enhancing India's manufacturing capabilities in the nuclear sector. This partnership is crucial for leveraging advanced technologies and fostering innovation in SMR development. R&D and Industry Academia Collaboration The Indian government plans to support research and development in SMR technology under the Make in India initiative, with a substantial corpus of 1 Indian rupee lakh crore. Collaboration between industry and academia will be essential for component-level manufacturing and innovation in nuclear technologies. This approach aims to create a robust ecosystem for nuclear R&D, fostering technological advancements and ensuring the successful deployment of SMRs. Green Taxonomy Inclusion Nuclear power supplies approximately a quarter of the world's low-carbon electricity, making it a vital component of green energy strategies. Inclusion in green taxonomy frameworks would attract investments for SMR deployment. The European Parliament recently voted to include nuclear energy in its green taxonomy, setting a precedent for India to follow. This inclusion would facilitate the flow of capital into SMR projects, supporting India's transition to a low-carbon economy. Global Perspectives and International Examples Leading Countries in SMR Development Countries like Russia and China are currently at the forefront of SMR development, having commenced commercial operations of SMRs in recent years. Russia has also signed an agreement with Uzbekistan for the supply of an SMR plant, expected to be operational by 2028. Other countries, including the United States, Canada, and South Korea, are in various stages of SMR development, reflecting a global trend towards adopting this technology. India's International Partnerships India is exploring international partnerships to advance its SMR capabilities. Negotiations with Russia's Rosatom and collaborative agreements with France on low- and medium-power modular reactors indicate a proactive approach towards international cooperation. These partnerships are vital for accessing cutting-edge technologies and fostering knowledge exchange in the nuclear energy sector. Future Projections and Sustainable Development Emission Targets and Energy Transition India aims to achieve net-zero emissions by 2070, with a target of 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030. 
The shift from energy efficiency to direct emission targets underscores the government's commitment to reducing greenhouse gas emissions across industries. This transition is crucial for meeting India's climate goals and ensuring sustainable development. Nuclear Power Capacity Expansion With the current installed nuclear power capacity at 7.48 gigawatts, the government projects this to triple to 22.28 gigawatts by 2031. The focus on SMRs, coupled with private sector involvement and international collaboration, is expected to accelerate India's progress towards a diverse and sustainable energy future. This expansion is aligned with India's broader strategy to enhance energy security and reduce carbon emissions. Strategic Importance of SMRs SMRs represent a strategic advancement in India's energy sector, offering a scalable and flexible solution for low-carbon electricity generation. Unlike large nuclear projects, SMRs can be rapidly deployed and mass-produced, making them suitable for a wide range of applications, including off-grid and remote areas. Their ability to integrate with renewable energy sources further enhances their value, providing a reliable backup for variable renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. Conclusion The Union Budget 2024-25 marks a significant milestone in India's nuclear energy journey, with a clear emphasis on small modular reactors, SMRs. By involving the private sector, amending regulatory frameworks, and fostering international collaborations, India aims to technologically leapfrog in the field of nuclear energy. The development of Bharat small reactors and the strategic shift towards sustainable nuclear power underscore India's commitment to achieving its long-term energy and environmental goals. This comprehensive approach promises to position India as a leader in the global transition to low-carbon energy, driving economic growth and environmental sustainability. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel. Thank you.